Hello and welcome to the first unboxing video of 2023. I uh, picked up a nice little one in the Christmas sales. It's been sitting under the tree now, waiting to be unboxed. It is the uh, first for figures Link from Breath of the Wild. He looking good. I already have two of them from the series. I have, uh, I forget his name, the Bolat and Zelda. I wasn't overly keen on Zelda, but I thought, you know, complete the set and I see there's a, a Gerudo uh, champion out now as well which looks pretty cool but it's uh, not going on sale yet so I'll pick it up at some stage for now however it's time to add Link to the family of figures so the box is pretty cool we've got uh, some bits and pieces on the back what does it say uh, those ones is the last one, the kind of calamity, just some bits and lore from uh, Breath of the Wild. And some information about other things that you can buy. Collect the line, Princess Zelda in there. So these are the same, well, at least Zelda and. God, what's your man's name again? Rivali. I think it's Rivali, because his, his was the Gale attack, which I relied on heavily to navigate around. <clears throat> but yeah, I think they're the same models as those from the Amiibos, which I was not able to get at the time, so let's hope we're all fingers crossed that they released the Guardian and Daruk. Those are the two now that I wanted most. We'll see as time goes on. So anyway, the boxes are similar to the other two. I don't know if you can get with the reflection acting funny, but there's like a little uh, Sheikah eye thing, hourglass at the top. Gives you a little overhead view of what Link looks like underneath. The box is quite nicely decorated with a small ding, delivery related ding on the thing. It's a good job I don't buy these things for their boxes. I of course have to rip them open. So let's take off the plastic because these figures are too nice to be sitting in a cardboard box. Oh, there's more cable on the side. I have been in the habit of like gently opening these boxes, but they go in the bin after I'm done, so they go in the recycling after I'm done. Not the bin. But they don't they don't survive. So cool again, if you see here, it's like two little uh, Zelda icons with the sword, the Z. Pretty cute looking. <clears throat> Awful coffee today. The all Christmas flu or COVID, I'm coming out the other end of it. Okay, so inside the box is really cool. We'll leave the good stuff to the side for a moment. I can get a better view of inside the box. Well, there's like clouds and a nice little background if you if you had the space on the shelf, which I kind of do. What I was thinking of doing already was probably getting like a poster, roughly the size of the shelf, cut it out, fitting in the background and having all my figures behind it. Well, you know, get around to that. So anyway, nothing else going on in the box, bar some cool artwork inside. I'll pop it over here. It also came with a little book which uh, is filled with things to make me jealous. Figures that I don't have. Oh, there's The one that keeps getting me is the classic, classic Princess Zelda. The one in the purple dress next to the Majora's Mask. And there's also classic looking Ganon there as well from... I suppose we call them Breath of the or not Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time era. Uh, there's also a Wind Waker link on the boat, which I don't remember the name of either, but you know, names aren't my thing clearly. And there's Skull Kid with the mask on his face. Oh yeah, there's a little instruction here that tells you how to actually cut out the cardboard box. It looks like this actually comes out. So, I guess you cut off these little wings on the side, and then you have yourself a nice little uh, fancy background. As you chop off this bit, maybe it's not big enough though. Like if there was artwork here, you might get like a nice a nice scene from this. But otherwise, it's a bit it's a bit short. So I'm going to stick with my poster idea and I'll recycle that. Right, on to the figure. Mm. I was wondering 
wondering for a minute was the tape. I was feeling resistance. Okay. Uh, These guys have weighted stands. Link does not have a weighted stand. Not that it ever makes a difference, but considering he's on a bit of a a balanced posture, a pose, you would expect a little bit more weight to stop them falling. Particularly when Zelda is fairly, uh, I don't know, equilibrium stuff. Science, physics. She's standing straight anyway. Less than likely to fall over, whereas our boy Link here, he's uh, knows his balance. But wow! Now I'll do some close-ups to get you a good look at him. But the detail is really, really good. Like super duper sharp. Remind me never say super duper again. Um, yeah. Now I had I had similar compliments about the face for Zelda. Although looking at the two of them together, um, there is he. Straight into the camera, he looks really, really sharp. His eye detail is good. He's got his um, little eye flicks, bang on job. YouTube makeup tutorials from Link. Um, geez, the quiver, even the little arrows, they're all kind of they're, they're stuck in. You can't you can't pull them out. I don't think, but they. They kind of they're flexible a bit, but even looking at the detail on the quiver, lots of nice detail on the back of the shield, the arrow. Like I think these are hand painted. I don't know if it says it on the box. I still struggle to figure out how you would hand paint these, like because it's so much detail. Like surely the plastic is blue, and maybe they just find add like the finer details but some of these details are so precise that I wouldn't think that you would do it by hand I'm actually quite impressed with this one I didn't buy it because I much prefer the green tunic link and I was hoping maybe I could switch over and go with like the Ocarina of Time looking guys if I can get that pink wherever where that book is the purple dress cell that with Ganon and green tunic link that'd be the trio now that I'd love to have on the shelf but at the same time now, I'm keen on the idea when I, when I saw that they'd released um, the Garuda woman. I don't remember her name. Daruk is the, the, the guy in NF. Who was the fourth champion? Oh, the Zora fella. Don't remember him either. I wouldn't be keen on him either. Nor the Garuda one, kind of. It's the Goron and the, the Guardian. If they released a whole series of that now, I would have to throw away some good stuff on the shelves and make room for them but um i'll have to find somewhere now for this i'll obviously make a little follow-up video which i'll attach on to the end of this if i remember i think i said i said that in a recent video and i forgot to attach it on the end as you may have noticed video editing skills are not my strength um but this guy is really pretty cool actually even the detail here on the little sheikah slate on his waist i'll um i'll do what i usually do and i'll put the review on the website with some nice close-up pictures in case you want to See the fine details that I'm talking about because obviously camera video is never going to be as good even after compression. Although the website compresses the pictures too, but not quite as much. So the arrow looks really cool. Lots of really, really precise details. Like if you look up close, I didn't say super duper. Um, look up really close. You can see like the little dots that are connecting the that kind of blue glassy thing onto the rest of the piece. Like they're, they're all holes, that's perforated. That looks really, has some good uh, manufacturing precision there. Oh! Mm. The bow, bowstring. It's elastic, just like it was for um, Ravali. So you can pull the bowstring if you want. Not that you would be like, you know. Wanna shoot somebody? So the arrow obviously doesn't move, so. Why would you pair the bowstring? But it's cool that it's elastic. But now that I'm thinking of it, is the elastic gonna decay over time to the point where it might snap? I suppose it wouldn't be hard to find a replacement piece of string or something to, to do it. But yeah, Ravali's bow also had a, a like a, a stretchy elastic string. Now Link's bow ain't quite as cool as 
Ravali's big chonker of a bow. But you do have like the ancient arrows and a bop of guardian in the eye. All right, so I wasn't overly keen on this buying it, but I said I'd buy it because it was cheap-ish. It was like 80 quid in the sale, down from like 120, which I thought at the time when I bought the other two was way too much, especially considering he was just, you know, nothing overly fancy. But now that I'm seeing him up close, I'm actually, he's really nice. The detail's really, really good. There's so much precision in all of the little details and little satchels on his back, Sheikah slates there, bowstring, even the detail on the back of the shield. He looks really, really nice. I think, well, I don't think there's not going to be a whole lot better or worse than Zelda. Not that she's bad, but it's a pretty plain pose, isn't it? She's just kind of standing there with uh, the slate in her hand, like she's waiting for Link to come and do something. So, cool for the set, but maybe not the best figure. Link is really, really nice. I would view them. They look good together, don't they? Princess Zelda and Soldier Zelda. We'll call them all Zelda in this game. I don't remember what, how big Ravali was. Like, if we're gonna add the Gerudo fella, he's gotta be big. He can't, like, Link and Zelda are probably about the same size here. And I don't remember how big the Gerudo were. I don't remember them being huge though. Now the Gerudo woman, she should be a good 12 inch figure. She's a head taller than. I will pick it up. When it's on sale, I suppose, I'm dropping like 150 for a, a figure that's eventually going to go on sale. But there you go. That's the complete set for now. Although I am already behind the times, it's no longer complete because the Gerudo is available for purchase. <coughs> that's it. If I were to give my recommendation on this lad, I would say yes. Big fan. I'm a big fan of everything that first figures make because they're just so highly detailed. But this figure in particular is quite nice. I would put him up there with Ravali, who I was exceptionally fond of the time I bought him. So now I have to find some space on the shelf. I don't have a shelf long enough to fit the whole family of them. We have to redesign the room a bit because I think these all need to go together. But these are really, really nice figures. Your uh, money is well spent, I think, if you pick up these lads. So there you go. Once I have a face in the shelf, I'll uh, upload the video. Thanks for watching.